Hi guys, I'm Hyde from Vimeo and today we're reviewing the Gems Axis. I get a bit of movie because obviously it's daytime and there's the dog which is now rudely walking in and the kids so if I miss bits out or whatever it's because I've had to cut scene because people are walking through. Let's get on with it. So the Gems Axis is a 24mm single coil RDA. It's quite old, I think it came out in about 2017-ish. 2017, 2018. It's 24mm by 27mm. Unless you've got the bowling that's on and it's 27mm by 47mm. True that! It has a capacitive 2.5mm, which is slightly above TPD, but it also goes up to 4.0mm uh, yeah, if you've got bowling that's on. Bubble glass. You'll see the build deck later during the build tutorial, but it's got a single coil build deck that's stainless steel gold plated. Hi oh, yeah. It's got a gold plated 510 P thread. 510 thread. Yeah. And it's not squonkable, but like I said it is quite old, so you can't really expect it to be squonkable. Let's see. It is available in black. Gold. Stainless steel. And rainbow. And that's it already. I'm pretty much out of things to say. It does look really damn good. Something that I did notice is how this beast wicks. If you notice here the cotton is protruding. The instructions actually tell you to protrude it down to the bottom rather than just to the uh, rim. But that's very much like RDTA. Now the difference between RDA, RTA and RDTA. RDA is like the this. It doesn't have any liquid apart from what you drip on it. An RDTA, well, an RD, uh, RTA is where the build deck's on the bottom, tank on top, that holds the liquid, and it somehow soaks into the coil, cottons. Now, the difference between RTA and RDTA is the exact same theory apart from the build decks at the top of the tank. The wick comes down a bit like a paraffin lamp. And soaks it all up. Now, although the build deck's not at the top of the tank, it's halfway up with a RDTA like wicking system. So, I did find it a bit interesting that it's an RDTA, but it's also got a bit of a feature of RDTA, which I suppose always merges the line. But it's quite nice that they haven't tried to make their own name for it, they just got it as an RDA. I like that RTA, sorry. I like that. Now, the airflow, I thought the airflow looked a bit small, but it is actually quite generous. And that comes in and goes directly, straight up basically, that hole just goes all the way through to the bottom. So you've got a nice bottom airflow feeding straight on your coil. I like it. Both times I've built it, the flavour has been there. I do like it. And yes, in my new, I would buy one. It's pretty good. It's a nice, decent single coil RTA. Probably the best single coil RTA I've used. Um, I can't really complain. There's nothing I dislike about it, really. Um, there you go. Let's do a giveaway and then we'll do a rebuild. The winner is. Can you say Hannah? Hannah. That's right. The winner is Hannah Ree. Congratulations, you've won the Bassini X. Um, like I said, I'm not posting it out just yet, so message me anyway and we'll get in touch about pay uh, delivery payment after the quarantine, lockdown. Um, all you have to do to be in a chance of winning the Gems Axis is make sure, stop pressing your horn, is make sure you comment down below and make sure you subscribe and you'll be in for a chance of winning. Um, now if you stick around, we're going to have, have a look at the build deck and we'll also show you how to build it. There's two different ways you can build it, kind of. We'll show you, come on, let's go. Right fam, so, here as I suggested, we've got the airflow, you've got your posts, this is where you wick comes down. And that's pretty much as simple as it is. I'll always say when you do anything that's like this, because a few RTAs that are like this, make sure that these thread, when you put your wick down, it's not protruding, because then it'll get caught in the threads and it'll get quite hard to undo. 
So there you go. Sorry about the lighting, it's quite hard to get right when you're constantly changing different rooms. There is also something else you need to be aware of. If we have a look, you can put your coils in here or under here. I don't understand, yeah, you could probably do it here and here or here and here, but the theory is you use the screws or you use the clamp. Completely up to you, but there you go. So let's have a closer look there. So you've got the screws here, and then you've got the entire, like a Z shape clamp there. But I think it's quite beautiful. I think mechanically it looks like a nice device. So let's have a, go at a little build. I'm going to probably turn it up, put some background music on. Enjoy. So we've got everything we need, we've got a flathead screwdriver to under his posts, we've got his jig, mine's bent, don't even ask. We've got his wire, it's a mecha's coil, or a coil, and we've got his cotton. Let's crack on. Mm -hmm. 